So we're going to start with Romanticism. We're actually stepping back from abstraction. The reason is I want to cover Romanticism and Realism, which give a basis for Impressionism and moving us down that road towards abstraction. So Romanticism rose from a desire for freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of feeling, freedom of action and speech, as well as political freedom. This is the early to mid 19th century when we see a lot of revolution passing throughout Europe. The Romantic artists, of course, believed that the path to freedom was through imagination rather than reason, feeling rather than logic heart overhead, and they will focus on the medieval world and the sublime. This is where many of our ideas of chivalry and honor will come from as they relate to the Middle Ages. We also see a new taste for the morbid, the fantastic, the occult, magic, uh, almost a desire to get back to a simpler time before the machines and the difficulties of what they considered at the time modern life. And they wanted to go back to this simpler time. They also, again, deal with these very fantastic ideas, dealing with psychology, what's happening internally. Basically, they're taking things that are happening in someone's mind and trying to make them tangible. Take a nightmare and make it real.